Ricky, you mentioned uh, Zillow. I've heard a few times in recent history that uh, Zillow where it's a great resource for our customers to go find information on values, that now they are actually going to be our competitor and actually <coughs> in many markets across the country. And I, I hear they're in two or three markets in Florida already. Uh, what are your comments on that? And I'd like to know. Oh, well, I mean, the first thing is, is competition doesn't exist. Period. Unlimited. Business is unlimited. Mm -hmm. Zillow can come in and take, take, I mean, they can't do it all. They're trying to figure it out. Right, yeah. But the problem is, you can't do it. The industry's too big. The industry's this, Zillow's a dot. All right. I don't know how you could automate the whole process. Now. You can't. You can't. That's the thing. It's not shoes. It's not a shirt. It's not. You can't buy a house on Amazon. You know. You might. There might be something they do, but they're going to have to have an agent on the other side working for it. Somebody's going to have to be somewhere showing them the house because the paint. The paint scraped up. The foundation's cracked. You can't see that online, and you can very easily lie about it online. So you have to have a real estate agent. There has to be a human that helps the person through one of the largest <laughs> moments in their financial life. And there's no way around that. Zillow is not going to take us over. Zillow is just trying to make a bunch of money, right? They're trying to figure out how to, the, it's, it's the investment flipping business, right? So Zillow's doing, correct? They're buying it and they're flipping it. People have been buying and flipping houses forever. I do it. Right? They just do it on a larger scale, but it's still not going to take away the business because for them to buy, is this what you're worried about? The investment part of it? What part no, of it are you worried about? What, what you heard, your, your sphere of influence. I mean, to buy something at an investment price enough to flip it has to be really cheap. Most sellers are not going to sell the property for really cheap. Okay? Not enough to, to give Zillow enough equity to flip it and make money. So that takes out 98% of the market right there that they can't even touch. They're not in the retail sales business, right? So I'm just not worried about it. Voice to voice is the reason why technology hasn't and will not replace real estate agents. There has to be the voice to voice, the consultation through the ever changing market. The market changes every day. I can't come to Naples and sell anything or advise anybody on how to sell, what, what price, what you should do. I don't know closing costs. I don't know taxes, nothing. Each market is so localized, mm -hmm. right? I would, as good as I am in Alabama, I would have to come here and hire somebody to buy a piece of property, to make sure I'm not overpaying, to make sure you I see what you <laughs> Who wants to sell me a property? <laughs> I do. 